Live streaming has been key for organizations during this pandemic, and there's five things I want you to really think about when you decide to add that to your marketing strategy. What's going on everybody? I'm Paul Schmidt. I'm the owner and creative video strategist for Introduce Multimedia. And like I mentioned just a little bit ago, we are going to be talking about live streaming. And there's five things that I really, really want you to think about when you decide to, to go forward with your event, meeting, announcement, however you want to incorporate live streaming into what you need to do to get your message and story out. So the first thing I want you to think about is obviously the platform. There's several platforms that you can use to make sure that you get the best live stream as possible. So such as StreamYard or BeLive or even Zoom. Figuring out where you wanna put this and how you want this to go because some allow you to stream in multiple places, some only allow you to stream in one place. So figuring out where you want this to go, who you wanna see it and how you wanna interact those are key elements for deciding on what to do or what platform to use when you live stream. The second thing is figuring out whether or not you want this stream to be pre-recorded and then streamed or actually streamed live. That is very crucial to figuring out what elements that you want, how you wanna build this, and what's easier for you. And not only that, but with the company that you wanna work with, have them understand exactly how this is going to be built and where the production and pre-production and all that's going to fall within the broadcast and being prepared for it. So that is a very crucial thing to go in because the pre-planning and the pre-production phase is the most important part in developing a very uh, quality live stream. The next item is about accessibility and making sure that you have the appropriate platform for the accessible needs that you need because not all the platforms that are out there can do the things that you may need it to do, such as uh, live captioning, which means captioning on the fly with a person, having ASL, all that stuff. So thinking about that at the beginning before you start the broadcast methods is really, really crucial. Now this fourth piece is really going along with all the things I was saying about pre-planning and making sure that you plan this at least two months in advance. That way, if you're working with a third-party production company, they understand your needs and if things fall through, you have the ability to pivot and work through those or add and subtract before it becomes ground zero or however you want to look at it before it starts to blow up because things happen at the last second. So the more that you can plan ahead and get elements in, the better it is for everybody that's involved in trying to develop this quality broadcast. And lastly, if you're going to be doing this as a genuine live stream, in other words, it is going to be going live, make sure that you have your guests or anybody that's involved in the program do a tech rehearsal with the production company or the people in your office prior to this going live so that everything can be tested before anything goes. Because when things go live, it goes live. And there will be possibly some technical issues, but if you can head that off at the pass, that's better for everybody involved. And those are just a few of the tips that I have for if you want to create a live stream broadcast for your organization. There's plenty more. So if you have any questions about this, please give me a shout. And also, this is the first part in a three-part series that I'm putting out about live streaming. The second one will be about getting camera ready. And then the second part, or the third part, will be about the platforms to actually look for and going into depth about what they offer. So if you have any questions about that, then you know what to do. You better call Paul. I will see you next time.